everybody, uh, I'm Drew, I'm that frog guy, and uh, as you guys can see, I have an ant colony with a queen. Um, I actually captured her earlier this spring, and I have been wasn't sure if she was fertile, and now she's got a bunch of workers, so I figured we'd finally, uh, she's way bigger than the regular ants, just some standard black ants, I think. I don't know enough about ants yet. Let me get the focus on her, and obviously my camera is not... The greatest at focusing on ants, but we're going to let her and her brood, small as they are, go into a new tank that I just made up um, a couple minutes ago. Um, and we'll look at it. It's right next to the toads. It is, if you guys can think of a cool name for it, it's just um, standard kind of drainage layer like our other tanks. Um, instead of doing cloth, I've decided to do moss, and then I have charcoal, and then dirt, and then uh, our moss-covered stump here. I put springtails, and I have put in a um, couple of isopods. Um, it is a wee bit uh, scratched up, <laughs> so uh, hopefully we'll be able to see things. I might do the talcum powder rim instead of this mesh here. But I'm going to start with the mesh, and uh, we'll see if they are gonna be okay in here. Hopefully they should be. The mesh should be thin enough so they can't escape. But we're gonna open the lid here. Give you guys a top down. And uh, You'll probably have see this tank before this video comes out being in the reptile room will be my next video. Um, let's just make sure the... So there's kind of the, the top down. I damp moistened it thoroughly but we'll uh... Hmm. I'm gonna go grab my tripod for this so hold on a second okay now I have you guys kind of in position on the tripod we'll lower our queen down and thanks to my buddy showing me Ants Canada so I actually wanted to make a colony here so I'm gonna pull Oh, the cotton ball. We'll just kind of see what they do. So they're kind of being defensive, it looks like, but we'll. First time they've seen air. You know, I don't know how well they can climb glass. <laughs> Try to get this tripod set up a little better. Tell they're a little apprehensive about getting out into the world. Oh, there goes the first one. Get back in there. They can definitely uh, climb. Someone put the lid on. We're gonna have to watch them through the side, I guess. I'll back up the zoom a little bit. Sorry that it's a little uh, hard to see. I will get more good videos. This is my first ant colony, so I'm just kind of winging it. If you guys never checked out Ants Canada, they have a, he has a pretty cool channel about all about ants. He does talcum powder ceilings and stuff so they can't get out. You can see more coming out and exploring, looking around, looking for food.
queen still kind of staying put. Oh, he ran back to the nest really quickly. I'd like to see if I can get them film get film them moving the queen, but without it focusing very well, it's kind of hard. And the glass so scratched up. My wife's a little mad at me. I didn't tell her I was going to set up this ant colony. But I think they're pretty cool. As long as they don't get out, right? I might glue a different uh <laughs> the toads. <laughs> you can see them from over there. It's great. I'll just tilt you can see Mr. Toads over here, kind of chilling. Oh, yeah, I stole their light for this endeavor. Oop, the queen's moving. Too bad my, you can see how scratched up this is. Ugh. I didn't think about it when I was setting it up, how scratched up it was going to be. Scratch it up. They're starting to investigate their new little home. The queens, I'm going to move this back over. The queen's really rummaging through her pile there. But yeah, this is going to be my first ant colony since I was like a child. So we'll see if I can keep this one alive. I just wish my glass wasn't so scratched up. It'd be cool to show you guys. It's cool that the queen is so much larger than the little babies, or the workers. they can escape if they want to. Out of what hole? I do not know. But we'll, we'll do some work here and we'll check back in with these guys a little later. Back a couple hours later and I've did some changes. Um, I've had issue with them climbing through the, the mesh. I thought this mesh would be almost tiny enough holes but it's not. So I ended up doing this with a talcum powder barrier and a bug blade barrier down here. Um, hopefully to keep them from ever getting too far out. <coughs> I've moved the vial up so you guys can, so we can see them through the side a little better, see them up through the top. And then I added a piece of superworm for them to manjon. They made a little trash pile there, but we'll, 
We'll see what they're doing. They're just kind of chilling right now, which is kind of weird. They don't really move much. Um, but yeah, that's that's the little uh, ant colony tank. If you guys have a cool name for it, as I'm really bad at naming tanks, please comment down below. But uh, we'll 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 keep you updated and see how they move. Maybe by the time I film the reptile room video, which will be technically before this, they'll have already moved in. So we'll we'll see. But uh, we'll uh, see you guys in a little while.